And I must say, this stadium falls in the must-visit category for any football fan should the chance come his or her way. Anfield is the venue. I'm Derek Ray, joined in the commentary position by Lee Dixon. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Liverpool facing Manchester City. Yeah, thanks, Derek. I'm just hoping we get a nice, quick tempo from the start of this game. Both teams do like to get forward. Both positive in their approach in the game. So we should be in for some entertainment. Number five, Jorginho Vinaldo. Number nine, Roberto Firmino. And number 11, Mohamed Salah. So the starting lineup for Liverpool. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Andrew Robertson starts with Trent Alexander-Arnold in the fullback positions. Jordan Henderson starts with Jorginho Wijnaldum in central midfield. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. And here's the Manchester City lineup. Well, as a team, they do have their stylistic preference, and it really is all about trying to put the opposition under pressure, making sure that they don't compose themselves. Lee, do you expect to see more of that in this game? Yeah, pretty much. They love to press high, don't they? It's their preferred style of play, winning the ball high up the pitch. It certainly benefits their strikers. They're very good at it. And this confrontation is underway. Well, as we look at the table, the opportunity very much there for the host. Are they going to forge ahead? There it is! And just the ideal start! Well, Derek, as we see it again, it's a big mistake. You try to teach youngsters not to get caught in possession and be aware of what's around you. He has no clue, and he pays the price. Well, the coach can feel this game slipping away, I'm sure. Might need a plan B. Wijnaldum. And it's a quality pass. He's in behind the defence here. Takes aim. And it's gone in. Just what the doctor ordered. Things looking very bright for them now with this buffer. Well, let's look at this again. Magical football on the break. Surprise is the key. And once he gets himself settled with the keeper to beat, he hammers it into the back of the net. Smashing goal. Oh, to be a fly on the wall in that dressing room if it stays like this, Derek, he's not happy. Just look at him. Jota. Andrew Robertson. It's with Roberto Firmino. Lovely ball over the top. Oh, a moment of pure class! Had to catch it perfectly, and didn't he just? Well, we can see it again now, and it really is a difficult ball to defend against. Over the top and into space, and then just look at the finish. Reads the flight perfectly and absolutely smashes it beyond the keeper. There's just no stopping that. They do pass the ball with authority. Giving it a try. It's still alive. And in at the second time of asking. But the goalkeeper badly at fault. Here we can take a look at it again. I'm sure the coaching staff will too. Just not good enough. You have to say that. He spilled it right into the danger zone, and at this level, you're always going to be punished. Oh, 
Henderson. Will it be? And a goal to increase their advantage to three. Can they be stopped? Well, here's the replay, and that passing and movement is pure quality. And then through on goal. Do you go for placement or do you go for power? Well, he certainly wasn't messing around, was he? Absolutely smashes it past the keeper. It's a really lovely finish. And the referee is going to add on three minutes. Oh, good vision. Big opportunity. It's still alive. And at the second time of asking, it's a goal. The keeper, meanwhile, looks to the heavens. Well, let's have a look at that replay. As a defender, or all the defenders in the box, you've got to be a pessimist. You've got to expect something bad to happen. It's back off the keeper, and now it's in the back of the net. Well, it's turning into a real shocker. This is the very reason, Derek, I'm not a manager. It's a weighted pass, and he's found a bit of daylight. Can he convert? Oh, there it is! It's one goal after another, and it speaks to the quality of that performance. Well, here we can take another look at it. You've got to ask questions about the keeper's positioning. That's half of his job. He can put the best keeper in the world wrong side of the goal, and he won't save anything. Well, enjoy the good days as a coach. It could be a roller coaster ride, I can tell you that. Fabinho. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. Oh, burying them beneath an avalanche of goals. No let up here. Well, as we see again here, the damage is started with a beauty of a through ball. And when he gets through to the keeper, he just smashes it past him and gives him no chance to think. A lovely finish. Oh, to be a fly on the wall in that dressing room if it stays like this, Derek, he's not happy. Just look at him. A successful intervention, winning the ball back. Salah, and he's made headway. His third goal of the match, and you cannot argue with that. Well, he's tearing this defence apart. They can't cope with him. Well, here we can see, Derek, from this better angle, it's all about the technique. When you're volleying a ball, it's all about timing. Let it get to the right place for your foot to make the connection. And there you go, in the back of the net. Well, all the day's frustrations are there for all to see. The coach needs to try and turn this around and quickly. And that is all for this game anyway. It goes into the books as a victory for Liverpool. And their supporters will be well pleased, Lee. Well, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? Particularly impressive up front. Their forwards really hit form today. The result was never much in doubt, if I'm honest.